What's up guys, it's ScorpionHD here, and today I have some really important information for you guys regarding the PlayStation 4. This information was all taken from the conference that was held last night. I did watch this myself, it was held at about 11 o'clock to 2am UK time anyway, so uh, yeah, it was pretty late. So, for those of you that uh, didn't see it all, this is this video is just sort of going to have all the, you know, the, the main points. Uh, Sony did reveal to us. The official design for the new controller, the DualShock 4, that will be included in this video, as well as a lot of other things like what's capable of this new system and also uh, a number of titles that will be releasing on the PlayStation 4 upon release. So guys, we'll start off with the controller. So, the new uh, PS4 controller is called the DualShock 4, obviously, continuing on with Sony's DualShock line. Uh, the controller is a big change from the past controller designs because, uh, well, we are saying goodbye to the start and select buttons. They're not featured on this new controller, and uh, the D-pad, the arrow buttons, if you if you prefer to call them that, uh, has also been changed. The buttons are now more angular in shape. This obviously creates better grip for the player, and uh, the thumbsticks as well. Actually, uh, they're now convex in shape with distinct sort of ridges so the controller uh, you know it's, it's a big change from the past Sony controllers but to be honest I think it's changed for the better uh, the controller is said to be heavier uh, but more ergonomic to be honest that doesn't really bother me at all because uh, I do think that the PS3 controller needs some improvement and I think that this controller might actually uh, it might provide that improvement Another new addition with the DualShock 4 is the newly added share button. Now this button actually allows you to take video clips, uh, screenshots, etc. of your games and send them to places like Ustream, Facebook uh, and obviously PlayStation Network. So that's another exciting new feature of the DualShock 4. Alright guys, so now we're going to move on to some pictures of the actual DualShock 4 itself. I have some pictures here of it beside the... Uh, the DualShock 3 that we are using at the minute on the PlayStation 3 for comparison. Uh, I would say, well, it's obviously a bigger controller if you look at it that way. Apparently heavier as well. Although, I'm really looking forward to playing on this thing. The touchpad as well, the LED, you'll see them. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing on this thing. The LED is just there for personalization really. But yeah, really excited to play on this thing. <laughs> so now that I've took the time to talk about the uh, the controller I'll get into the actual system itself so unfortunately no design for the system was shown last night which a lot of people were quite annoyed about but they have to keep something for E3 in June so I suppose we'll have to wait till then but Sony did describe the system as being like a supercharged PC another feature of the PlayStation 4 is that for example if you're stuck on a mission uh, you can actually let one of your friends connect to your machine and take control this is another pretty cool uh, new, I don't think we've seen this before, and uh, a really unique feature about the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 is said by Sony to be designed for developers, which is probably why they invited so many of them on stage to show off their work on the new system last night. Some of the games on show included Killzone, Shadowfall, Drive Club, a new team based racer with incredible graphics, Ubisoft's Watch Dogs, which was already highly anticipated. And there were also appearances from Bungie, who created Halo for the Xbox 360, when they announced their new game titled Destiny, which will include exclusive content for the PlayStation 4. Blizzard, usually a PC-only developer, announced that they had struck an agreement with Sony, and Diablo 3 would become PlayStation 4. No price or release date was officially released at the event last night. However, Sony hinted that the console could be coming on holiday 2013, hinting to a release date around December time. So yeah guys, this has been a Scorpion HD. Uh, I hope you've gained a little bit of knowledge by watching this video. Uh, I'm really excited for the PlayStation 4 now. I will be getting it uh, on release, hopefully. Hopefully, depending on whether it comes out close to Christmas or not. Uh, but rest assured, you will be seeing some gameplay on that console. Uh, and also, uh, I will be doing coverage on the Xbox 720 news as well, because I'm not just going to favour one side this time, even though I'm a PlayStation uh, gamer. I am going to just, uh, you know, cover all the news that I get about the consoles, and uh, yeah, not disappoint you Xbox guys. 
But one thing I do want to ask is, if you were leaning towards the Xbox 720, has this conference changed your mind? Do you now want the PS4, even though we haven't seen anything on the Xbox yet? And the other way around, if you were leaning uh, towards the PlayStation 4, has this conference disappointed you? Are you now uh, leaning towards getting an Xbox? But uh, yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like and subscribe, I really appreciate that. Uh, and yeah, cheers.